Greetings everyone, this is Patrick with Great Ocean Technologies. This is part two of our side quest video from last time. To recap where we left off, we are on a quest to retrieve a magical antidote from the past. Unfortunately, our good friend Otto here was transformed by the cursed time stone, and that same curse will destroy any magical items we try to bring back to the present using the stone. Will we be able to find the antidote and make it back to the present alive to save our mercenary friends? This looks like the present version of the caves, with different details. Notice this doesn't really look like the part of the cave that we were in before. What would you like? Now, we, we know that this was a cultist stronghold in the past, so we need to be careful and look out for anybody who might seek to harm us. Oh, who's this guy? Handsome Dirk. Alright, we can go talk to him. He's not attacking us, so... I'm gonna try lying to him about this and see if it works. I am a swindler, so I'm pretty good at persuasion. Ah, I guess it did. You've made the right choice. Right, we'll move along here. Then I want to be cautious, just in case we get attacked out of nowhere. You've made the right choice. Uh, who's this up here? Sounds a little more urgent than that handsome dirt guy. I'll try lying to her too. It worked before. Oh, I guess she didn't believe me. I'm gonna keep trying to be charming with her though. Maybe she'll accept this? Alright, well that seemed to work, more or less. Oh, whoa, how does she know about the stone? Did she take it from us? I guess she did. So in analyzing it, it sounds like she knows all about it and she knows how to use it without any danger to herself. But she can't help with the magical items not being able to return to the future, or the present, I guess. Well, she seems to understand what we're doing here. She seems to like me, so I'm going to try to keep being charming. Fifty years. I don't know if she's joking or not. Alright, so she's offering to help us once we find the antidote, I guess. She doesn't know about the antidote, but she hasn't asked. But of course she wants something in exchange. She says it's not dangerous anyway. When does the dark moon rise? Keep being charming. Survive? Did she say it wasn't dangerous? Seek the source of the mists before they grow too thick to pass. And we have to find out the answer to this riddle. But what's she gonna do? Oh, something. Huh. So we seem to have found ourselves in another version of the cave. This isn't the present or the past. There's a lot of strange stuff going on around us. I don't know what these are. Some kind of floating bodies? And the 
water is a different color. And it looks kind of misty in here. She said something about the mists growing thick. I'm going to be cautious moving forward. You made the right choice. More of these bodies. I wonder what they are. We've been down to this area before, but maybe the mists will grow thicker as we come down here again. Oh, no, but there's some kind of enemy. Nightmare Wraiths. Alright, well, we can go try to fight them. I only see two. Prepare to die. Oh, it's tough. Oh, they hit pretty hard. Oh, surprisingly hard. Oh, we still managed to take them out. I'm gonna go ahead and use a healing potion on Helgenhar. Alright, that got him back up to full health. These are pretty weird, and this whole situation is weird. So I'm gonna see if these wraiths have anything interesting on them. Oh, what's this? Rage. Well, that's a lot of damage. This axe is said to have been once wielded by Halevi, demigoddess of battle. Together with the sword Frenzy, Halevi used rage to wreak utter destruction on her foes before ascending to divinity. Both rage and frenzy were forged from the corpse of a Diagoon. The materials from these fire behemoths' bodies lend strange properties to the paired weapons and help to explain their unusual appearance. Well, I would say that is an unusual appearance. I'm gonna take it with me. You made the right to choose. Alright, let's go down this way. Oh, the mist just got thicker. That worries me a little bit. You made the right to choose. Take my party forward. But I think what I'm gonna do. Yes. Viala has a spell called invisibility. I'm gonna use her to scout ahead. I see more wraiths down here, but they can't see me. Gotta be quick though, because the spell will wear off before very long. What would you like? Oh yeah, it just wore off right as I was getting back. How can I help? All right, since this is a relatively narrow hallway, I'm gonna set up my party here and draw the wraiths back. What would you like? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send Helgenhar forward. Get aggro from them and pull them back into the hallway. Alright, so there are three of them there. Hopefully there are no more. I'll set everybody to attack the wraith in front. Time to pay the tax. Oh, there's a fourth one coming in too. Send Arvex to attack this one. And Yala and Helgenhar and my character can all get to this one. Oh, Helgenhar is getting hit again. A lot. Well, Yala has one more spell left prepared for the day. It's a healing spell. So I'm going to use that on Helgenhar. Keep him from dying. Showing this one is badly injured. It's almost down. Hopefully they don't all kill Helgenhar off before I can do anything about it. Yes. Prepare to die. What do you need? Time to pay for it. Prepare to die. Uh, I'm gonna drink another potion just to be safe. Make sure everybody else is attacking this wraith first before I do, though. Alright. Killed them off just in time before they could be too much of a danger. At least it looks like they gave pretty good XP, though. 
Oh, these rates have more interesting items. This must be the sword that pairs with the axe, Rage. Yeah, also lots of damage on it. And I think these are related as well. Oh, that's a massive amount of defense. Yeah, I'm gonna take these two. Actually, I'm gonna open up my inventory and I don't really want to equip the sword or the axe on my character because he's better from range, but I'm gonna try to equip these boots. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, usable by demigod. That's strange. My character's definitely not a demigod. Yeah, it looks like the sword and the axe are also only usable by a demigod. Well, these items aren't very useful to me right now, but they might be useful later. So I'm just gonna keep them. Maybe they'll sell for good money or something. Made the right choice. got a lot thicker. We must be nearing the end. Oh, what's that thing? The sleepwalker. You made the right choice. Unlike everything else in here, he's not attacking us, so I'll go talk to him. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Sounds like we've only got one shot to get this right. I think the riddle was, when does the dark moon rise? If we ask him something else, we might not get another chance to find out the answer to this riddle, so we'll go with this one. Only when the pendulum ceases to swing. Okay. Uh, I guess we can't avoid whatever he's about to do. Oh. Wow, that was a lot of damage on one hit. Uh... Oh, okay. Doesn't seem like there's much we can do here. Uh... Oh, I died. I guess I'm gonna have to reload? No? Here we are, somehow, all back alive and healthy in the past map. I'm gonna talk to this woman again. The dreaming. Well, I am curious about what just happened. Well, she really wants to know the answer to that question, though. But we do actually know the answer, so we might as well tell her. She'll actually tell us now what happened. So it sounds like we got sent to some kind of other reality called the Dreaming. And there was only an answer there because it wasn't within the boundaries of time. But she won't tell us why she couldn't visit it. Or why exactly she needed the answer. We don't have the antidote yet, and we don't actually know what we're going to do with it if we find it. So, obviously, I'm not going to say we want to go back yet. What would you like? Okay. So, we're going to need to explore the rest of this cave, I think. You've made the this should be the choice. exit to up above. Yeah. This is the way we came in earlier. It looks like it might be like locked or something You've from the trap the door. Choice. Come down.
down this way, over the bridge. And I think I see some cultists. Yep, cult archer. Alright. Right Gotta take Here's these out. Well, compared to those wraiths and that big elemental thing, that was pretty easy. Let's see if they have an antidote on them. Well, just some normal arrows. What now? Okay. You've made the right choice. Come over this way. I don't see anything interesting yet. You've made the oh, but right this area choice. looks habitated. Maybe we can look around here, check some containers. You made the right Oh, more cultists. Okay. Arbex, you should come down here. Alright, well, they were pretty easy. I'm gonna check each of them individually for any kind of interesting items. Uh, just more arrows. This one's got a bow and some more arrows. And more arrows. Oh, this looks like some all-chemical equipment. So maybe this table's got something? Oh, what's this? Magical antidote. This is probably it. Yeah, this has got to be it. Okay, so we're gonna take that antidote. And your wish. And now we just need to figure out what to do with it. I'm kind of at a loss here. I don't see anything in here that could really help us. You've made the right choice, and your wish is. Let's see. I want to try to avoid any combat. We'll you go back the, the way right that choice. we came. See if there's anything around. Maybe that woman has some advice on what to do with Make this antidote. Right choice. You've made the right choice. her. So there are beings that touch the dreaming, yet manage to stay physically here in our world. They are eternal. Give them your burdens, whether they desire it or not, and then you may take up your cause again when the time is ripe. Okay. Well... I don't know exactly what that means. You've made the right choice. But maybe we should go explore some other area of this cave and we'll find what she's talking about. You've made the right choice. Maybe up here? I don't think we've been up here on any version You've of the map. The right choice. Whether the present, the past, or the dreaming. Oh, this is weird. It's definitely not just the normal cave. It looks almost kind of like a temple. You've made the right choice. I wonder if this has something to do with the cultists. I'm sure they know it's here. This is their headquarters, after all. You've made the right choice. What are these? Or this? Oh, no, these. Okay. Uh, Eternal One. Didn't that woman say something about beings that were eternal? So maybe this is what she was talking about? They don't really seem to have anything useful to say. Um... Okay. Well, that's not really all that helpful. So what am I supposed to do? I think 
she said something about give them your burdens whether they want it or not. I wonder. What do you want? Okay, so I have the magical antidote, and I am a swindler. So the thief class skills are sneak, steal, and plant item. Now, she said that they exist in all times, like they're outside of time and they touch the dreaming. So maybe if I plant the magical antidote on one of these, they'll still be there in the cave in the present. And I could get it back from them. Well, it looks like I successfully planted the antidote. Yes? Uh, maybe that's the solution to the quest. You've made the right choice. I'm not sure, but I can't really think of anything else. So, let's go talk to Isla again. You've made the right choice. You've made the right choice. It is a long walk back. You've made the right choice. that solved the quest. I don't know whether or not they'll be there in the present, but if they're eternal, maybe they will be. She seems to think we will meet. Well, I hope so, Isla. Alright, here we are, back in the present. We don't have the antidote yet, so I don't want to talk to Stefan until we've actually retrieved it. If we can retrieve it. So we're going to come down to these parts of the cave that we hadn't explored yet. You've made the in the right present choice. And come back up to where we met the eternal ones in the past. You've made the right choice. All looks pretty similar. I guess the cave itself didn't You've change that much right over time, choice. other than the fact that many of the cultists are no longer there. I guess all the cultists are no longer there other than maybe some bones. You've made the right but choice. But the weird temple is still here. So that's a good sign. You've made the right choice. And are the eternal ones here? Oh, there they are. Okay. I hope this means that we can get the item from them. Uh, it looks like they still have nothing useful to say. Okay. Well... And if I could plant an item, I bet I could steal an item. Ha! I sure did. Okay. Yes? So we have the magical antidote. Let me just make sure that it's actually the same thing. Yep. Well, I hope it works. Oh, but we don't have any of those items from the dreaming anymore. That's too bad. Those seem valuable. You've made the right choice. You know, back when I actually opened up my inventory when I was in the past map again, I don't actually recall seeing them the in my right inventory, choice. so maybe they actually disappeared like I couldn't bring them back from the dreaming. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click way forward on the map. The right choice. Because again, it's kind of a long run. I wonder how much XP I got from those rates in total and how close I am to leveling. Oh, pretty close. 694 out of 900. So, doing pretty well. I wonder if this quest will level me up. You've made the right choice. Alright, Stefan. I guess we weren't gone for very long at all. Uh, I 
hate to break it to you, buddy. Okay. So we're giving him the antidote. Let's see if it works. Oh, he looks happy and healthy now. So do his men. Other than the, uh, the dead ones here. So in Black Geyser, you'll often have a variety of ways to resolve a quest. One aspect of that is to prevent the curse of greed from continuing to spread through the world. You can actually choose to not take all of the quest rewards for something. So the head priest's staff sounds interesting. I kind of do want that, but I'm going to let them keep the gold. This concludes the quest trapped under the surface and our video. Keep watching for more Black Geyser news on our Kickstarter and website, and feel free to stop by our forums and Discord channel.